Coach Breeze, good technique session there. Uh, I'm glad to see that you're on, back on the mend and, and, and that you're healthy. You tore your ACL. Yeah. One of your guys told me, uh, actually in Georgia, he's like, oh, yeah, he's coming, recovering from ACL. That was June. Yeah. It's early August now, and, and you look good, man. You're able to hit all the techniques and, yeah. and do everything. Yeah, so I'm probably not supposed to be out here doing what I'm doing yet, so hopefully our team doc's not ever going to see this, but I actually am like part Bionic Man, part Wolverine right now. <laughs> I... Uh, I tore my ACL about a year and a half ago. I gutted it through last season with a brace because I was like, we had a bunch of freshmen. I'm like, I got to be here. I can't be absent. So I pushed through with a brace for the year, went into the surgery, wake up after like 15 minutes. My wife's sitting in the room. She looks at me. She goes, your knee fixed itself. What do you, what do you mean? I'm, I'm assuming I'm still under anesthesia. So I went back to sleep, woke up like an hour later. The doctor's there. He says the first time or first time in almost 30 years. He's seen it in three times in 30 years. My ACL attached to itself and fixed itself. So this is a real thing. This is a real thing. This actually happened. And I have two other knee surgeries on this side to prove that I don't normally do this. So I don't yeah. know why this one fixed itself, but it fixed itself. So I basically had a scope and have supposed to be out about six weeks, and I'm supposed to be on the mat again in like a week. But we're down here with these guys, and I was like, I think I'll be all right. So yeah. I'm, I'm telling my guys all the time, I'm part Wolverine now. So you look at it, you know, you're, you're here and uh, you're actually doing some, a little bit of wrestling, a little bit of technique. We were in Iowa for this. I saw you in yep. Iowa for this. I missed your technique. You let me know about it. But <laughs> we got you today. But, um, you know, coming to this event, C3, the, the college combine, you know, by compound. What do you think, what do you want to get out of this event when you come to it? So I think the biggest thing down here is it's exposure for us in a completely different region. When we were in Iowa, people already knew us to some degree. We knew a lot of those kids. This is spreading BVU across the country and getting to people getting to see what we're about and um, getting to know a little bit about our program. Additionally, there's some really, really good under the radar kids that come out of Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, places that people in the Midwest maybe don't think about. We're all fighting over the same kids in Iowa. It's great to get down here and see kids that are at the same level, but maybe get overlooked being, you know, because they're from the South. And so, something I grew to appreciate when I was at NC State, how good wrestling in the South has gotten. It's dumb for me to not be here and not try and tap into that. So now, you know, you're a PA guy. Yep. So it's like, when I talk to PA guys, it's like, that's, you're talking to the top level guy. It's like, you're talking to the guy from the Yankees. You know what I mean? And then you got the rest of the league. You know, you guys are from, it's, it's the, it's double the qualifiers every year, the next second state in Division One. Yep. It, it's the best. And you're yep. Western PA. Yeah. You're McGuffey, where are you from? McGuffey, yep. So you're McGuffey. Yep. So we look at it, and it's it's incredible to think that now you went to Iowa, and everybody in Iowa think, you know, because Iowa had such a great run in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, that it's the same high school wrestling state. It's not. No. They're, they're <laughs> it's different. different. The biggest thing is there's, there's three divisions. And so there's two divisions in PA, but there's three divisions in Iowa. So... You know, you have three state champs versus two, and I think that makes it a little bit different as well when you're kind of evaluating who guys are and where they fall. The wrestling's still really, really good. I would say on the freestyle Greco side, I always get some ground to make up, and they're getting there. Like, they definitely are getting there. If we wouldn't have had the uh, awful, awful blood round that we had in Fargo, we were sitting in second place at Fargo, like, easily in second place, and then we went three for 13 in the blood round. Like, it was oh, brutal. Man. So, so you I, went from I, having three All-Americans to 16? We could have had 16. 16 to three. Well, we had some guys in the finals. So, in the finals, okay. So, yeah, but yeah. Wow. We, I've yeah, never even heard of that. It was brutal. So, I mean, I was definitely catching up. You know, Illinois got their case to make for the freestyle Greco side of things, but I still think your best high school wrestling overall comes out of PA. But it's, it's not a question. I'm sorry. I it's... Just, it's Here's the thing, though. It, it changes. It's not as foregone of a conclusion as it once was. I'll put it that way. People are getting good all over the country. There was a time when PA could take their B squad to Fargo and win a Fargo title and run away with it. That's definitely not the case now. <laughs> what are you looking for here in an individual to come to Buena Vista? Is it Storm Lake, Iowa? Storm Lake, Iowa. Which I've heard is beautiful, by the way. It is. Um, what are you looking for in a, in a student and athlete here? So student definitely comes first for us as a, as a D3 school. That doesn't mean you don't have extraordinarily high goals as an athlete, but that's how I'm gonna get you your most money. Be a good student. I can really help you out if you're a good student. I can make it super affordable for you if you're a good student. If you're a great student, I can make it crazy affordable for you. So that, that's really high t on us. And then we're looking for guys that really want to be a part of something. It's not just, hey, I'm going there because 
XYZ school is really good and I want to say I wrestled there. Uh, we want guys that are going to help us get to where we want to go and they, they kind of embrace and have that hunger to be, hey, I started this. I made this happen. I was at the beginning of it and we're getting really close to getting over that hump. Um, so we want guys that believe in that. They know they're going to jump levels in college. They maybe didn't get to where they wanted to, but they want to be a rock star in Division Three, and they want to be a big deal. And it's not about how many T-shirts they get coming to coming into the gear store on day one. It's how big of a stage can they put themselves on. Those are the guys that we're really looking for. You know, like when you come to the coaches' convention here, you know, or Daytona Beach, weather is beautiful outside. We're we're in a building. You're showing technique. <laughs> we're not on the beach. What are you getting out of the coaches' convention every year when you come down? Um, I I learn a ton every year. It's it's something that you almost walk away with you've learned almost too much and you got to go all right what things can i put into place now otherwise i just gained a bunch of knowledge and didn't use it so i you know, there's always a handful of takeaways that we put into place and add on to what we're doing or confirm like hey what we're doing is 100 percent right there's a guy smarter than me that said to do that thing as well um so that's big it's it's great just being around other coaches and picking their brains and you know getting a chance to guys that you wouldn't have time to talk to in february march to sit down and say, hey, what are you guys doing with your program? How did you get over this hurdle? What happened when this happened? That kind of thing is really big. Um, and then it is a mini vacation. Like My wife came down here with me. So while I'm doing all this stuff, she's hanging out on the beach and taking a little bit of relaxation time. And, and you know, with July and August being as crazy as they are for coaches, I think it's kind of a great thing for the NWC to give this to us where we can come down, bring your family along. They get a little vacation and get, get to spend some time with you at night while we're kind of working during the day. Uh, C3 is coming back to Iowa August 19th, 20th. You're trying to be there? We, as Buena Vista, will be there. My wife's anniversary. First oh, man. anniversary. I don't know if you're going to be there. I am not going to be there. But, but you guys will be there. We 100% we will be there. <laughs> All right, man. You got anything else for me? We got pull up starting. You got anything else for me? Nah, I'm good, man. Thanks. Thanks for the time. Good, good technique.